What a hypocrite that woman is, man. She's another demon. You oh, look I, into her career. Oh, man. Don't even go there. From being heels like, up Harris. <laughs> yeah, Willie Brown's consort. Oh, you know? man. I know a couple of people. She was a hoochie coochie girl on the way up. Man, all I'm going to say is I got some friends who are from the East Bay, right? And they and they told me they said she she is the most hated person oh, in wow. community. I mean, she withheld DNA evidence because she didn't want to lose any convictions. Uh, from her record, I mean, this woman. I don't. Maybe, maybe she was blackmailed into doing that or bribed, whatever. But you just don't do that, man. That's a wicked person, no matter what her reason was. All you have to do is take the fact. Look at her prosecutions, the way she gleefully locked up these people oh. from for all these drug infractions, and look at the way. And you know. On her off time, she was sparking it up, man. And she, <laughs> and but here's the thing people say, Well, what evidence do you have? Because I'll tell you, as there is evidence of how she treated these people, these, 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 these convictions. There's plenty of evidence for that. Absolutely. And people just don't want to look, man. They like to say, oh, I'm just so happy that there's someone who's vice president that looks like me. They're so caught up in their own racism and identity politics, man. They'd rather see a black woman or a brown skinned woman have her position than somebody who's actually qualified for the for the position. Look at this, man. All I got to say as far as Kamala. OK, first of all. She was not Miss. I'm down with the revolution and I'm down with my people. She no. was never about that. No. Until she sacrificed her own people. Until, until she was chosen for the number two, and they saw that her the symbolic gesture of having somebody like her, and she played that shit up oh. because. You know, she, she played it up because she's like the whore that she is. Well, well, yeah, I mean, you said it, but the point is, is that she's willing to do anything, oh, anything, anything ruthless. Yeah. Another black hearted demon. That is for you. That is where, like, everything sort of soured with you and the Democratic Party was when during the debates where you accurately pointed out her record yeah and you 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 basically sank any hope that she had of being president because you opened up this discussion that many people are not aware of about her prosecution record and the things that she's done that are absolutely illegal yeah. like forcing people to work as labor as cheap labor for the state to fight wildfires after they're supposed to be released exactly they did their time they did their time and she kept them in prison to use them essentially as slave labor for the state, putting their own lives at risk forcibly. The the thing about um, my exchange with her on that debate stage, um, when you take a step back, you got a question like all of those things I brought up on her record, you easily Googleable on the first page when you look at Kamala Harris's record. All of those things, I'd have to dig very deep to see what those issues and problems were with her record. So then the question is, hey, why didn't why didn't anybody in the media ask her these questions about the record that she said, I'm so proud of my record as this and as that, as that. All right, cool. Talk about this. This is your record. Talk about these things. No one in the media did that. There is no other candidate on the debate stage who had the balls to bring that up. How 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 are voters supposed to be able to make their best informed decision when the media and fellow Democratic candidates who are running, who are her opponents in that race, don't have the courage to ask a very factual question on a record that she says she's proud of? Do you think that there's a concerted effort to hide that information? Or do you think that people recognize that, 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 that that's, that's a trap? Like, if, if I do that, 
then it's going to fuck up my future. They're going to not want me to participate in certain things, which most certainly happened to you. Yes, that most certainly happened. And, and that shows the double standard. I, you know, I don't know why no one had the courage to ask her those questions, why I was the first person to do it. Uh, if I had to guess, I would imagine it's because she's got friends in high places. I would guess it's because she's a she's a woman of color and no one wants to be seen as the person attacking a woman of color who's running for president. They got no issues attacking me uh, on a whole host of fronts. But because, again, she she was connected. She's playing the game. She's somebody that the Democratic Party knows that they can control. 